Hey what's up Halo fans and welcome back to another Halo video. Now today's video we are going to be comparing Halo C Anniversary to the Halo C Refined version. Now if you guys don't exactly know what the Halo C Refined is, it's a mod that's been made that by the community. They basically restored the original textures and the uh, shaders transparent from the 2001 version when Halo C was originally released. They basically fixed on what Gearbox broke and my gosh, they did a fantastic job on this. You know, when I was playing the Halo C Refined version, I was very surprised on how different it was compared to the version we have now. And yes, I meant that in a sad way because the version we are playing currently is basically a downgraded port. We basically forgot on the original version of Halo Combat Evolve that was released in 2001. I'm going to compare every detail between the two versions, much as I can. So let's get to it. So let's take a look at the UI between the two versions. I noticed how both health bars look different. The C refined health bar looks a lot better than the MCC version health bar. I mean, that's how it originally looked in 2001 version. Not this health bar we have now that has a sort of weird shape. I really hope T43 you know, bring it back at some point. I mean, nothing wrong with the T43 version, but come on now, the C refined version health bar looks so much better. Uh, this is how it's supposed to look. Uh, I've noticed on the I even noticed the reticle on some weapons like the plasma pistol, it looks cleaner and more sharper uh, in the refund version, while the MCC version looks darker and doesn't look too crystal clear. Uh, same goes with the shotgun here, again it looks more clear and sharper in the refund version, and also the, uh, the plasma rifle too, as you can see here. Now let's move on to another comparison. Now look at this comparison here, my gosh, I'm surprised on what happened to Captain Key's face in the MCC version when comparing both. You can see a massive difference. The MCC version, he looks like a weird dude. I don't know if it's just me, but he looks like he is smiling. Even on the mission called Truth and Reconciliation, he still puts on a happy face even when his life is in danger. But in the refund version, he looks, you know, quite serious and he seems to be on the board like he's taking the situation quite seriously. While the MCC version, he doesn't at all. He looks bizarre in the MCC version. He looks very, you know, clueless. I don't know what it is. I would like to point out that this minor change they were also made to the windows on the Pillar of Autumn. Uh, the refund version has a clean window while the MCC version you know, looks dark. I don't know what it is, which makes it harder to see the ring outside. The refund version, you can see the ring outside completely, which I find pretty cool. Next one we have here are the frames per second. The FPS in the refund version is a lot better than the MCC version. Now, if you guys don't know, the animation in the MCC version has been locked at 30 FPS, unfortunately, as you guys can see here. I was really surprised on how smooth the refund is, the cutscenes you know, look better, a lot smoother. Again, I just hope T43 do patch these issues. The refund seems more watchable, while the MCC version kind of makes my eyes blind and I don't want to keep on watching. So yeah, I just hope they do fix all these issues. Okay, next one is, now this one is a very common issue that everyone talks about, are the Jacker Shields. Now if you guys only played the MCC version, you would probably say to me, oh the Jacker Shields weren't supposed to change colour when you shoot the shields, well actually they did change colour when you fire their shields. While the MCC version never changed color at all, it was basically downgraded or thanks to Gearbox. And I noticed on how the Halo C Refine version also has, a, has that nice looking effect on the shield, uh, while the MCC version it looks very plain and dull, it was basically downgraded. And the shield here doesn't seem to change color at all when you fire it with your pistol. I remember the large shields on the mission called Truth Reconciliation, they were basically downgraded also. It looks very lifeless in the MCC version, while the refund version, it looks more alive because you can see cool effects animation on the shield, which is pretty dope. Oh, and also the shields where Captain Keys and his soldiers were locked in were also downgraded too, as you can see the comparison here. Moving on, now if you guys look at the second mission called Halo in the refund version, and as you're driving your way into the large cave, have you guys noticed there's a fog that appears in the C refund version, while the MCC version has no fog at all, and the level called uh, Two Betrayals, when, when you're looking up high, there's a fog appears too, while the MCC version looks very empty, uh, and the mission called uh, 343 Guilty Spark also had fog. This mission, the refund version, gives you that horror feeling because you couldn't see anything, which was kind of scary in some ways, uh, while the MCC version felt less scarier, and the area where you saw Captain Keys and his soldiers were fighting the flood, you can see this awesome blood splat texture on the ground and in the refund version, uh, which I thought you know looked very awesome, but in the MCC version, you see none of that except for their, you know, the weapons, which is a shame. On the assault control mission, just at the start of the level, when you look about this uh, glass at the top here, they've changed this animation effect. It's like they've only put this uh, smoke on there or something, not sure. It looks weird in my opinion, while the C refined version had this nice cool effect to it. Uh, not sure why they removed this. Uh, it looks 
very dope in the refined version. Also, look at the larger door comparison here. The refined version has textures on the door, while the MCC version had no textures. It looks too plain and too washed out in the MCC version, which I personally don't like. It's the same with the small doors too, um, so you guys can see here, uh, which doesn't look too great in the MCC uh, version, while the refined version looks better. Uh, another minor change they made uh, on the elevators. Uh, when you're looking down at this elevator you're on, uh, you can see there is this very cool looking texture that, texture that goes around the elevator, which I find pretty nice, while the MCC version had no texture at all on the elevator. But if you look very carefully at the, M at the MCC version, it does have that texture, but it's so hard to see. It seems like the opacity you know, seems low, like as if you can't see anymore. So it's very, very difficult to see. Also, remember Cortana in this cutscene where she gets angry? She was supposed to change color. In the refine version, she changes color when she is angry, but in the MCC version, she doesn't change color at all. So it's, it's basically broken. Okay, let's hop into the multiplayer now. And there are changes for the multiplayer too. Uh, so let's take a look at the teleports. You see this teleport here in the MCC version. This is another downgrade of the teleport. Look at this comparison here. Again, it looks plain and dull in the MCC version, while the refund version looks better. It has this nice cool animation effects to it. Here is the minor change on the map called Blood Gulch. Uh, when you go into the center of the map, I've noticed this area here. You can't, you can't even walk over this little hill. It has this some type of wall, this small wall here, as you can see. Uh, like you literally, you just can't walk over it unless you jump over it. Uh, while the MCC version has no wall, uh, you can literally just you know walk over it in the MCC. Uh, not sure what to say about this one. In my opinion, I personally like the MCC version because you can just walk over it. Uh, what are your thoughts on it? Now let's take a look at this map called uh, Hangar Mai. Now I've played on this map many times. And there's a little change they made in the center of the map. They've actually had lights in the refund version while the MC version had no lights. But you couldn't even walk over the lights unless you jump over. Uh, so again, I personally prefer the MC version for this one because you can you know, simply walk over it. Another change here, a map called Batch Creek. Again, I played on this map uh, many times, but this map caught me by a surprise when I found this. When you're making your way into the red base in the MC version and you look to your right, you see this small window here this used to be a large window. Look at this comparison here. In the refund version, you can actually jump inside the base and back out too. Uh, I'm really surprised because I played on this map with my buddies a lot, and I've actually never thought this window was originally massive. It's, it's very noticeable when I found this. I do hope, uh, you know, they, they do restore this. Another little change they made on Battle Creek in the river area, they seem to block this path with this tree in the refound version, and there seems to be a tiny wall here, as you can see. It's a similar thing to Blood Gorge we just saw previously. Uh, you couldn't, you know, walk over it while the MC version, you can walk straight through it. Um, I mean, again, I, I think I prefer the MC version uh, because I'm kind of used to walking through this area. Uh, what do you guys think of this chain? Another map you're going to be looking at is called Sidewinder. Again, this is very noticeable. They've changed the teleports. So what I exactly mean by this, if you guys look at the MCC version first, and as you walk through the teleport, and then you look behind, there's a teleport, basically two-way teleport, right? But in the refund version, when you're going into the teleport and you look behind, there's no teleport. So you can't go back to the, you know, same place where you came from. So basically it's, it's a one-way teleport, and I don't know what my thoughts on this. I, do you guys prefer the MCC version or the refund version? Because, you know, I personally like the MCC version where you get to go back to the same place where you came from instead of taking the, the long route. And here's the minor change in, in uh, Sidewinder on the ice. Uh, the color seems darker in the MCC version while the refine version looks more light blue. So I kind of like the refine version in this one. Uh, it gives that nice attractive color while the MCC version looks a little off. I don't know what it is. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I probably did miss some parts out that should have been mentioned. If I did, I do apologize. I did try my best to find out every detail much as I can in these two versions. But I hope you enjoyed the, this video regardless and found this video very helpful. And let me know what you, what you guys think of the comparison. Um, does this surprise you all like how we are playing a downgraded version of Halo CE? I mean, it's crazy because, you know, I've been playing Halo CE for a very, very long time and it's shocking how I've forgotten the original version. Uh, I'm really hoping people for you do patch this up at some point. I want them to implement the refund version into the MCC version one day. Uh, please do share this video to 343 if you guys can. Uh, they need to watch this video and patch this soon as possible.
But anyways, if you guys are new to this uh, hater channel and you enjoy this video and would like to see more hater content, then be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. And be sure to follow us on Twitch. We do stream hater on there every day. And I'll see you spawns in the next video. Bye.